good. Yes, family, we are great. And we are still on top of this incredible, beautiful table mountain. And our guide has been very informative as he has been sharing a whole lot of information that has been able to this connect us with our history, culture, and also just our nature itself. So well, that's one of the most important things when you travel. You always want to make sure that you connect with different uh, guides that's going to educate you about the site. And now for one of the, one of the final breathtaking view and breathtaking energy. So the sacred circle. So don't worry. You can come closer, sir. Is your pops not coming? Are <laughs> oh, they probably taking a view? Yes, come on down, check this out. Yes, family. And now this is the side that we're in and we can see the actual waterfront. Isn't this incredible? Okay guys, uh, ladies, gents, so I consider like this to be the best part of the tour. Basically because you can see the entire CBD area on this side of the mountain. Straight in the middle of, of the ocean over there. That is your Robben Island. Okay, so wow. that is where Nelson Mandela spent about 17 years of his 27 year prison sentence. If you do plan on going to Robben Island, it normally costs you about plus minus 500 rand per person. Uh, when I was there about four to five years ago, the person who gave me the tour on Robben Island actually used to be a prisoner there during the apartheid era. So it is a very in-depth tour of the island and a very emotional tour which you do get. Even before apartheid, Robben Island always used to be used as a place of isolation. So if anyone suffered from any leprosy or mental disorders, then they were also isolated on the Robben Island uh, Island, island basically. <laughs> okay. Then further inland over here, this is your Lion's Head and Signal Hill mountain range. So right. Lion's Head itself at 669 meters above sea level and it is considered to be one of the most hiked up mountain peaks in South Africa. So it takes about one and a half to two hours to walk all the way to the top of the lion and the way that you see the lion firstly the name obviously comes from the fact that it's shaped like a lion do you see the lion my lion head no. yeah this way so yes this is lion's head yeah okay and in order to spot the lion you have to look at signal hill as well so signal hill which is the long stretch yeah. that makes up the rump or the body of the lion then this is the head so it's more of a sphinx of a, something lying down facing towards Table Mountain, guys, okay? And Signal Hill is normally where the noon gun cannon gets fired every day besides Sundays and your public holidays. Then at the foot of Signal Hill, that is where you will find your Cape Town Stadium, which was built for the 2010 FIFA World Cup tournament. And Cape Town Stadium. Yes, yeah, sir. One is close to the, 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 the yes, sir. Well. The back of the water, the front. by the crate yeah. wheel. Yeah. Yes, and then on this side you will also see there's a lot of colourful houses. Yeah. Okay, so that is actually the Bukap area in Cape Town, which is considered to be the uh, oldest slave quarters or the first slave quarters during the Dutch East India spice trade. So bear in mind, Cape Town it is considered to be the oldest city in South Africa, guys. So the oldest colonial building in the country is that peach pentagon shaped building over there. Do you guys spot it? Just over there, you spot it? A uh, pentagon looking building. Just over here, that peach one, no roof. There's a white dome shaped building next to it. Family. Okay. Here we go. You will see it, sir. No, I'm just trying to. If you, I, you, 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 wait, on the land, land here. Or, or, no, or, on, on the on land. The so follow this, um, uh, the field, the sports field, yeah. in a straight line up, and then you would see there's a peach pentagon shaped building over there. Oh. 
Okay. You look like, yeah, look like a, right? yes, sir. Uh, it's a br brown color wall. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and peach, uh -huh. um, roof, yeah. roofing yeah. Uh -huh. type yeah. of a uh -huh. thing. Yeah, uh-huh. You yes, spot sir. him? Yeah. So, so there we go, family. I saw it. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. So that is known as the Castle of Good Hope, guys. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. That's that uh, <laughs> was built in 1664 under the Dutch East India spice trade. So that was actually the first refreshment station on the African continent during this time. And all the ocean water which you guys see actually used to come right up until that specific building yeah, over there. Yes, and sorry. as the population grew, that's basically when the Dutch people reclaimed majority of the land and pushed the ocean water back. Then, last but not least, guys. Well, where's the, the fort? Um, that peach pentagon shaped building over there. So oh, yes, yes, yes. yes no, the, castle, yeah, the, no, the castle of Good Hope. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's, that's also it. why you have a street name in Cape Town known as Strand Street. Mm. So, Strand or Strand, it's a, an Afrikaans word which means beachfront. So the beach front used to come up until Strand Street in Cape Town. Then last but not least, the mountain on this side, this is known as Devil's Peak. Okay, so the name Devil's Peak has a very nice legend behind it. They also say that it um, took place during the Dutch occupation of South Africa. They used to live an ex-Dutch pirate who went by the name of Van Hunks. So Van Hunks used to live at the foot of Devil's Peak with his wife and he always enjoyed smoking tobacco pipes. But his wife never allowed him to smoke these pipes in the house, so he was always forced to walk 1,000 meters above sea level just to smoke this tobacco pipe. So he was considered to be the most dedicated and the best smoker in the land. So one day while he was smoking at the top of that mountain, a guy appeared to Van Hunks out of his cloud of smoke. So he couldn't really see or tell who this guy was. Nonetheless, this guy challenged Van Hunks to a smoking competition and he promised if Van Hunks were to win this competition, he would be granted a lifetime supply of tobacco. So obviously because tobacco was imported from Malaysia, Indonesia and so on, it was a very expensive commodity to be having in the Cape Colony at that time. So Van Hunks accepted the challenge and the two of them started smoking for about seven days non-stop eventually. They created what is known as the tablecloth of Table Mountain, which is that cloud which hangs just at the tip of the mountain, okay? And as this tablecloth engulfed the entire mountain range, that's when the guy who challenged Van Hunks could not smoke anymore, and as he handed his prize of tobacco over to Van Hunks, that's basically when he revealed himself to be the devil. So Van Hunks basically won the devil in a smoking competition, hence the name Devil's Peak. And whenever you see the tablecloth or that cloud starting to roll in, then we normally say Van Hunks and the devil has reignited their smoking competition again, guys. <laughs> love it, brother, love it. Bro. So yeah, that's that a beautiful Devil's breakdown. Peak. Devil's Peak. Devil's Peak. Lion Head. Lion's Head, Signal Hill, and Robin Island. So that would basically conclude our tour, guys, unless you have any other questions for me. So, yeah. So you've been very informative. Um. No problem, I appreciate Thanks it. So much, guys. So, so yeah. where's, where's the uh, questions? I'm sure somebody got some good questions. <laughs> My family was able to complete the full tour and been able to get a full 360 view. So yes, uh, appreciate you. So the journey continues. So you guys, you can still feel free to walk around that way as well. Okay, then you would even... That's a nice one over there, my guy. <laughs> nice, Robin. Definitely, you know, you should actually try and take it from that angle. From that then you try and Once Robin. we get it back Lions over there. And Robin Island. Yeah, so okay. Lion's Head in the front and then Robin Island oh, in the so background. So from here, from here. Yeah. On this, right? Yeah, just over yeah. here, yeah. We like stand over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Uh, no, but we go to them. Maybe you could even try and put the stadium in as well. Okay. Not stadium. Family, we way on elevation. I'm max on zoom. Go to Wally. Maybe they eat. <laughs> Just zoom it a slide, but up.
And so family, the journey continues and uh, we're gonna get you some nice photos from the top of the mountains. You want me to get one of you there? Yeah, I wanna get you. You stand